Hi people, Tia's here. Happy New Year to you all when it comes. Hope you have a good 2019 and all the aspirations you have for the year come along. Usually that's the case if you work hard, but you know, I wish all of you a, a happy, healthy 2019. Um, just in my preview for our Premier League game against Fulham, of course, which takes place on New Year's Day. Um, this is a game where, you know, we need to bounce back from that shocking performance against Liverpool and, you know, it's a team that we destroyed earlier in the season and I don't see any reason as to why we can't do that again um, against them at home. Um, you know, certain certain players need rest from the last game. Certain players are just not good enough to be in the side. But we're in such a predicament right now. Thankfully, it's, it's January. Transfer window's here. And, you know, hopefully the club will address the issues that they have. Um, you know, it's only a matter of time to see what, what they will do. Um, bearing in mind, as much as, you know, a lot of us hate the owner and we want him out and, you know, he's he's low, he's not really lie with the club. Um, when you look at the players that we've signed of recent, you know, this time last January we've got Abariang, the summer window before that we've got Lacazette, you know, and this summer, you know, of course, Emery had a budget to work on, but he got some decent players in. Um, even last January we got in lights of Mavropanos, so who none of us have heard of. I, I definitely feel that, you know, we should be able to get at least one or two players that's going to strengthen the side and and you know ideally we need that but for the Fulham game I'm going to get straight into my starting 11 in goal I'm going to keep Bernd Leno in there although I've seen a lot of fans say that maybe we should put Czech back in there but personally I don't think he, he was at fault for any of the goals against Liverpool um, you know the two penalties you know it's a 50-50 whether or not he, he he's going to be able to save that and you know um, the other goals was more or less really defensive errors, which, you know, left him with more or less not much he could do. Um, but, yeah, for this game, I keep him back in goal. I'll stick with the same formation of, with three at the back because I feel that the players that that we have that's best suited to play on the left and right in the and that Maitland-Niles, they're better as full-backs in terms of... Um, they're better as wing-backs, like driving up and down the forwards in, in terms of full-backs. Um, so... Uh, my back three, first man in there is going to be Socrates. You know, he had a bad game against Liverpool, but, you know, he's he probably still the better of the, the three defenders on the day. So, you know, uh, I'd have Socrates in there. Alongside him, probably be Koscielny. Bearing in mind, Mustafi got taken off at half-time. I presume, you know, he's something with his injury may have flared up, especially as during the game, well, one point for one of Firmino's goals, he's like he went in for a tackle and pulled out. You know, so maybe... Well, we know he's not fully fit, so you know probably even be in a starting lineup for this game. And alongside those two, alongside Socrates and Kishodi, I'm gonna go with Medley, the young lad. Now, you know I don't want to see Granite Jacker playing at centre half, um, and you understand my reasons for that when I get into the who I want in midfield. And you know I feel like with our current defensive situation, uh, nothing better than to put this guy in there. You know it's a home game. Um, you know, against uh, not one of the bigger teams in the Premier League. Don't get me wrong, every team could threaten you on any given day. But I feel if if the lad's going to get an opportunity to play any game, it might as well be now whilst we're in the current situation that we're in. And, you know, I have no worries about, you know, putting uh, Medley in. I believe he'll do a good job for us. And, you know, bearing in mind, he's the only left-footed centre-half that we have. So even if at times in the game where, you know, the dynamics change and the formation changes a bit he can be that left-sided player you know he drifts out a bit to the left back um, position to defend and cover I feel we do a good job there so I'd like to see him given the opportunity um, in this game and hopefully he does um, at left wing back would be Kolasinac looks a bit tired these last couple of games I'm not sure if that's the case you know he has played quite a few games recently but at the same time unfortunately there isn't really anyone else we can play there so left wing back I'm going with Kolasinac Right wing back, I'm going to go with Maitland Dows, you know, one of our better players against Liverpool. And, you know, he's come under a bit of criticism recently when he's been playing right back. And, you know, at right back, you know, most of his duties is to defend. Defensively, he's not so bad, but going forward, he's a lot better. And his pace really, you know, gets us into attacking positions well. And, you know, it was a good combination between the and himself for our goal. And he just looked like more of a threat when he was, when he was you know, driving down that right-hand side and... Although that Andrew Robinson for Liverpool was really good early on, Maitland Niles got, got, you know, did something and Robinson ended up on a yellow. And, you know, I think if 
the score had stayed at one nil or one one and we'd and we'd kept putting pressure down that side of course and there's not much tackles he would have been able to put in, bearing in mind he's already on the yellow, that's when he'd get himself sent off in the big game. But, you know, I'll definitely go with Maitland now as that right wing back for this game. Um in midfield, um I think Torreira needs a rest. So, you know, because he needs a rest, there's no way I want to see Granite Xhaka playing at any centre half. So I'd go with Granite Xhaka alongside Gwendozi in there. And then just in front of them, uh, I'd have to go with Alex Iwobi. Um I know what many would say Ramsey would be the favourite to play in there, but personally Iwobi had a good game last game. So um, for his morale, it wouldn't do him any good for him to play one good game and then you know he's on the bench the next game. So I, I believe he deserves a start in this game. And... You know, I believe he, he can do a good job. If, as long as he has a, a game like he did against Liverpool, I believe he'll have a good, he'll have a very good game, he'll do a good job for us. And then up front, I want to see Aubameyang and Lacazette. Now, I know that we don't have much, you know, attacking options on the bench, but you know what? If you start with these two guys up top, which we should have done against Liverpool, you create more, more problems for the opposition's defence. And, you know, personally speaking, I feel with Aubameyang and Lacazette up front, um, Lacazette's more the one that can, you know, hold up play and, you know, bring others in. And Aubameyang is a bit more of the clinical finisher, although Lacazette is still clinical. So I feel the two of them work well together. You can see in the Liverpool game, um, due to parts of it, due to lack of creativity and, you know, stuff, Aubameyang was literally isolated out of the game. And, you know, <laughs> we need him in the game. And I think with the two of them playing together up top, um, it will work well, especially as likes of Lacazette sometimes likes to drop deep and pick up the ball. And of course, he can do that when the Bamiang is there because it gives him an outlet to pass it to going forward. So that's that would be, be my starting eleven for the game. Um, I think we'll win this game. I think we'll win it by three goals to one. Um, hopefully that's the case. Hopefully it's a good start to 2019. Um, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts for the game, your predicted start at 11, um, your score prediction. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and I'll catch you later.